So my name's uh, Jason Billingsley and this is my lovely family here. Uh, it's a bit about us. This is Sue, Liam, and Liam. Liam and, and Charlie. And Charlie. Uh, family life is uh, as mad as anybody else's really. Before I was actually diagnosed there was I was uh, as fit and healthy as, as could be really. There were no obvious signs really, everything was going swimmingly. It was one morning, you woke up and you'd had a horrendous nosebleed. Going into the, Q, the, the QE uh, initially, there was no thought of anything other than it's going to be something treatable. In February 18, <laughs> it will always live with me, it, it was the only appointment I went to without Sue, um, and, and walked in and I knew straight away it was something very serious and the first thing they said to me is your wife not with you and I said no and then they and then the diagnosis in terms of sinal sinal nasal cancer. nasal cancer was made uh, what I do remember is just thinking how I was going to tell Sue I got home and straight away Sue knew something was wrong and we went upstairs we went upstairs and I just said to her any crying, any upset, we can't do it in front of the lads. We've got to do it and, and you know, on the night there were a few tears, but to be, you know, Sue has been my absolute rock. My thought was, how do you tell an eight and a five year old little boy that dad is not well? Um, and we left it till <laughs> the day before he went into hospital and we sat down somewhere that we don't normally sit had a picnic and uh, and we told them and, and they were they were amazing they were, they were absolutely brilliant yeah two little stars and one of them said is it my fault daddy's got cancer because sometimes i'm a bit of a scamp and we just said no no I said, you know your your daddy's little shining stars and you know he just he'll do anything for you the operation involved or here being lifted back uh, my upper jaw coming out, my teeth coming out, uh, and being replaced by bone from my hip and muscle and tissue from here. And I've got uh, a titanium plate there and a titanium plate there, which is not good when you're going through customs at an airport. But <laughs> um, so sort of holding everything together. The doctors have been really good. And we're just happy that Daddy's home and he's well and he will get his new teeth um, next year. Well, um, my mum's so okay. Mr Praveen mentioned Get Ahead. As part of Jason's operation, as part of like using his hip bone to create a new cheek cheekbone, he'd used a piece of equipment, a 3D printer. Now that 3D printer was donated to the hospital by um, one of the patients, um, a patient who had had head and neck cancer and had then got involved with the charity and had, you know, through the charity had helped out the QE. It's only through, you know, the support of charities like Get Ahead that these pieces of equipment can be bought. So, and we'll both continue to support them for the rest of our lives, so, because of, of what they've done for us.